Hello YouTube this is lifenextdoor.com Top 10 poisonous plants Number 10 Hippomane manchilia or machinal Manchinal derives its name from manzilia little apple due to the resemblance of its fruits and leaves to that of an apple Its present day Spanish name is in fact Manzanilla de la Muerte little apple of death found throughout the Florida Everglades, Central America and the Caribbean. These trees are known to cause harm even without contact with the body. Break a twig and the dripping white a sap can cause damage, including rashes, skin irritation, coughing, loss of voice, etc. The dripping sap from these plants can even damage car paint. These apple-like fruits, if ingested, can cause blisters in the mouth, swell the throat to shut it off and even cause gastrointestinal problems. These trees are known to grow near beaches and thousands of tourists face the wrath of this tree every year. So, if you're heading to these regions, try to keep on guard for this deceptive plant. Tatra Stramonium Jimson Weed With its pointed fruits and leaves, Jimson Weed has truly created a scary image for itself. The plant has been long related to spiritual and voodoo properties due to its hallucinogenic properties. Believed to have originated from the Americas, it's found all around the world now and has known medicinal properties such as relieving asthma symptoms and as an analgesic during surgery or bone setting however its alkaloids which are responsible for hallucinogenic and medicinal properties are fatally toxic and even a slightly higher dosage can result in hospitalization and death even the nectar and petals of its beautiful white or lavender trumpet shaped flower are dangerous they like to rest of the plant are tainted with the toxins atropine and scopolamine aconitum or aconite Aconitum also known as aconite, monkshood, wolf's bane, leopard's bane, mouse bane, woman's bane, devil's helmet, queen of all poisons or blue rocket, is a genus of over 250 species of flowering plants belonging to the family Ranunculaceae. These herbaceous perennial plants are chiefly native to the mountainous parts of the northern hemisphere, growing in the moisture retentive but well-draining soils of mountain meadows. Most species are extremely poisonous and must be dealt with carefully. One of the most beautiful poisonous plants, aconite, contains blue, white or flesh-colored bunches of flowers at the top of the stalks. Though the plant looks very beautiful, every part of it is laced with poison and is known to poison gardeners and backpackers who mistake its white carrot-like root for horseradish or some other herb. Contact with the plant can use tingling numbness and in many cases heart problems consumption can lead to burning sensation in the mouth followed by increased salivation vomiting diarrhea a tingling sensation in the skin changes in blood pressure heartbeat irregularities coma and sometimes even death the past has witnessed the use of aconite for shedding blood nazis used this poison to lace their bullets Ancient Greek shepherds laced darts with aconite to kill wolves and protect their herd. Number 7, Argyretina altissima or white snake root. Argyretina altissima also known as white snake root, rich weed, white sanicle or tall bone set and is a poisonous perennial herb in the family. Asteracea native to eastern and central north america an older binomial name for the species is eupatorium rugosum but the genus eupatorium has undergone taxonomic revision by botanists and a number of the species that were once included in it have been moved to other genera credited with killing Abraham Lincoln's mother the white snake root is a shade loving weed which grows in the eastern and southern united states and contains high level of tramentol a dangerous toxin european americans trace the cause of abraham lincoln's mother's death to snake root although today dr anna pierce hops bigsby is credited with identifying the plant in the 1830s legend has it that she was taught about the plant's properties by a shorn woman whose name is lost to history but she and her people would have had deep knowledge of the herbs and plants in the area it has bunches of flowers at the end of its branches it causes milk sickness a condition that affects people consuming milk from the cow who consume the plant 
The plants are also poisonous to horses, goats and sheep. In humans, symptoms include bad breath, loss of appetite, listlessness, weakness, wake pains, muscle stiffness, vomiting, abdominal discomfort, severe constipation, coma and possibly death. Number 6. Taxus Baccata or the English U Taxus Baccata is a conifer native to Western, Central and Southern Europe. Northwest Africa, Northern Iran and Southwest Asia. It is the tree originally known as yew, though with other related trees becoming known. It may now be known as English yew or European yew. These giant trees stand as tall as 22 meters. All parts except the bark are poisonous. Consumption of the leaves and to a lesser extent the seeds can lead to increasingly serious symptoms including dizziness, dry mouth, dilation of the pupils, weakness, irregular heart rhythm and possibly death. The yew has been used for productive purposes as well. It served as a good material for making bows. It possesses medicinal qualities such as treatment of water elf disease. Yew extract is used for taxol which slows the growth of the numerous cancers. In the central Himalayas, the plant is used as a treatment for breast and ovarian cancer. Number 5. Castor Oil Plant Castor plant originated in Africa and is now found worldwide. It bears yellowish-green flowers with a red center. The leaves are large with tooth edges. In ancient times, the castor bean was used in ointments and allegedly Cleopatra applied the oil to the whites of her eyes to brighten them. You must have heard about castor oil, a mild-tasting vegetable oil used as a food additive flavoring in candy production, laxative and to induce labor. It is derived from the plant seeds which are 40-50% to 50 oil. This plant contains the deadly toxin, rich in Richin is found in high concentration in the seed coating. Though seed poisonings are rare, there have been fatalities. Symptoms of castor poisoning include nausea, abdominal cramps, vomiting, internal bleeding, and kidney and circulation failure. Many people suffer from an allergic reaction to the dust from the seeds and may experience coughing, muscle aches, and difficulty breathing. Exposure to the dust is common in areas where the beans are processed for commercial use. Number 4. Atropa belladona or Deadly Nightshade Probably the plant with the scariest name, the Deadly Nightshade, grows to a height of 1.5 meters, can be recognized by the dull dark green leaves and bell-shaped purple flowers. The sweet and juicy fruits make them tempting for the children, though it is found sparsely in the wild regions. It is limited to cultivation. It has a long history of use as a medicine, cosmetic and poison. Before the Middle Ages, it was used as an anesthetic for surgery. The ancient Roman used it as a poison. The wife of Emperor Augustus and the wife of Claudius both were rumored to have used it for murder. And predating this, it was also used to make poison-tipped arrows. It is one of the very few plants which are deadly for human beings but completely safe for animals and birds. Number 3. Abrus Precatorius or Rosary Pea It is a slender perennial climber that twines around trees, shrubs and hedges. It's a legume with long, pinnate, leaf-litted leaves. Ingestion of a single seed, well-chewed, can be fatal to both adults and children. This plant is best known for its seeds, which are used as beads in percussion instruments and which are toxic because of the presence of abrin. Possessing beautiful fruits, the rosary pea contains black and red seeds, used extensively in making imported jewelry. They are popular as rosary prayer beads. Number 2. Secuta or Water Hemlock Secuta is commonly known as water hemlock, is a small genus of four species of highly poisonous plants in the family Apicia. They are perennial herbaceous plants which grow up to 2.5 meters that means 8.2 feet tall, having distinctive small green or white flowers arranged in an umbrella shape. This contains a deadly toxin, secutoxin, which is concentrated mainly in the roots. Upon consumption both in humans and other species, the symptoms of poisoning are mainly characterized by generalized seizures over the decades. It has earned itself a reputation of one of the deadliest plants on the planet.
Number 1 Nerium oleander Nerium oleander is the most poisonous plant on the earth every part of this plant is full of toxins two of the most powerful ones are oleanderin and nerine and oleander's poison is so strong in fact that it can poison a person who simply eats the honey made by bees that have digested oleander nectar ingestion of this plant can affect the gastrointestinal system the heart and the central nervous system the gastrointestinal effects can consist of nausea and vomiting excess salivation abdominal pain diarrhea that may contain blood and especially in horses colic and has also caused deaths in human beings the oleander produces a lovely fragrance however the animal stay away It is often used for highway barriers. Its rapid growth is used to prevent erosion at the new construction sites. Hey, thank you for watching our video. Drop a like, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. And yes, keep following us.